Hey there, it's David from Project 42, Musicians React and Nothing Gained. So, uh, here we are again, reacting again. We're doing another, we, me, I, uh, I'm doing another reaction from the request list. So, about four weeks ago, uh, someone requested me to check out Jason Richardson's Hose Down. Uh, so thank you for the who put the request. I did was I was making notes of who did it. I, for some reason, I've got not not got a name next to that, so you'll know who you are. Uh, so we're going to do that today. It looks like he's some sort of I don't know anything about it, but I'm guessing he's some sort of guitar aficionado. Uh, so basically, a very good guitarist. So six minute fifty four seconds. So without further ado, I'm going to kick you into that in two secs. Uh, as always, if you like the reaction, uh, please like subscribe. Uh, share etc and leave comments below now I, I am not a amazing guitar player I, I've always been a drummer uh, and really done music production or writing um, so I do know guitars I know chord st structures etc so this will just be interesting to see from my point of view probably won't be able to go into a huge amount of technicality on it but I'm interested to see what happens so let's freaking go I understand why they have to have the guitar quite high when they're playing these fast parts. It's harder to play that lower down. A scale three. Very nice, it's got a nice flow to the changes. Nice flow. Well choked back. I'm going to assume that he did the, this was his song writing, he was just him writing this whole track. quite difficult to write sort of songs like this because you have to think the whole thing into a long piece of work. All of which are telling stories. I suppose that's an eight eight string. Oh seven string. Nice pick through. What I love about this is that they're basically just playing along with it. They're not actually recording it. You can see there's no mics on there. There's no switch in between effects. So I don't see the point of putting the cable in there. So. They'll probably have it in here. If they haven't got it, they've probably got you know, a big sweep in that room playing it out. Nice, yeah, I like I like the tripling up there. This is the other thing, there's actually two guitar parts being played on this. There is no way on earth that this what you're hearing in your headphones is done by one guitar. This bit's played by one guitar. <coughs> okay, that's an interesting change up. Could have played with some manners. Very different. Wasn't expecting this. Change back. 
See, that's the sort of thing I'm never sure about. I don't understand what the point of uh, doing some weird country and western mix that is. Unless you're just trying to showcase technical ability. Okay, so we're going now jazz. Another point is, I don't like jazz. There's no vibe to it, it just feels a bit pretentious to me. I quite like how it's like the most like, get chuggy as hell. Though. One thing I find with this sort of music, it's kind of so you can just sort of drift off. It's like a minute ago, I just sort of started to drift off in my own wooden world and listen to it. Just kind of I can imagine just being having this summer in a car, just driving around. It's quite relaxing actually. Nice little dub kicks there. It's, it's, got, it's, it's good that he goes back to certain parts of repetition rather than just trying new stuff all the time. Okay, Hose Down by Jason Richardson, Luke Holland featuring Rick Graham. Okay, um, uh, first thing I'm going to say, I'm not a huge fan of instrumentalist uh, albums. I, I know lots of people like Steve Vai, Joe Satriani, Jason Richardson, uh, Marty Freeman did one. Um, I, I completely understand them from a technical point of view. And the way that I see these ones, if you're into sort of going to NAMM and the guitar worlds and the guitar road shows and you want to see your favorite guitarist up on stage watching technical ability of what they can play these are guys are brilliant these are guys are amazing um for me i'm looking for a free four minute song i'm looking for a story i like vocals i like the breaks uh i do like a little bit of repetition i.e the choruses um so i find these ones a bit more difficult to kind of keep my attention so i couldn't tell you how that song went because there's no real hook for me there's no parts for so you can't really hum along to it but for, to watch it from a technical ability alone that was amazing uh, as far as just sort of a track that I could listen to over again and stuff like that I just find those sort of songs difficult so that being said um, I liked how he tried to do some different things so throwing in like the country bit the jazz bit uh, is interesting I haven't seen many people do that uh, doing these sort of uh, instrumental sort of songs uh, I'm not sure what the purpose of it was, but it was interesting that he attempted that. Um, he, the technical ability in the blast beats, I loved the, the drum the drum techniques over the top, uh, worked really, really well. Um, so it wasn't just showcasing guitar technique, it was showing the case in actually some of the drum playing as well. Uh, so I really liked that. Um, so yeah, really good, good instrumentalist um, song. 
Uh, so yeah, highly rated for that point alone. So if you are in, into instrumentalist, uh, you, you uh, was it you with Mulmastein? I can't pronounce his name. Sorry, uh, but any of those sort of instrumentalist guitarist then i'm sure this guy is right up your alley so thank you for watching uh if you like the reaction please share like etc uh leave a comment and i will definitely see you on another video thank you for watching take care